You know, in some cultures, they say breaking a glass is a symbol of the impermanence and fragility of life. That is not the first glass that I've had today. Okay. The first glass of wine that I've had was this morning in my pajamas. And you're here to blame me. I'm not here to blame you for my problems. I'm responsible for what's going on. All this angst over a mid-morning pick-me-up? I went to lunch yesterday and I ordered a glass of wine. Civilized? And then it turns into three. Oh, I see. The old bottomless wine glass trick. But I could have sworn it was only one. What well-meaning soul pointed it out to you? Olivia, and she runs to Dante with her concerns. Overprotective mother-in-law. And then Tracy brings it up. Well, Tracy's overly sensitive about some issues. Well, Maxie comes over to my apartment, and then she starts to bring it up. There you are in your jammies, knocking one back. I don't feel like I have a problem. Maybe you don't. But of course you would say that. How can you see that I'm not acting like myself if you don't even know me anymore? How could you know me when all you ever do is disappear? Fair enough. Do you even know what it's like to have everybody in town see you except for me? Everybody gives me a Luke sighting like you're a freaking comet. Well, I, I, I've been busy, babe. You, you've been busy. You've seen Ethan. You went to Tracy's wedding. Has it even occurred to you to congratulate me on mine? Newlyweds need space. I I don't need space. I don't need space. I need a father who can tell if his daughter is turning into a lush. Is that what people say is happening? People I can't wait to tell me that my life seems like it's empty and I'm filling it up with a Chardonnay glass. And given our family history... Yeah, I know. The curse my father gave me, I gave no. to Lucky and now to you. This okay. is not me blaming you. This isn't some genetic disposition. I wouldn't fight you if you did. This problem is mine. So you think you do have a problem? Everybody close to me seems to think so. They've told me in not so subtle ways. And do you deny it? Yes. But then Maxie shows up at my apartment and she's pulling gla glasses and bottles out from everywhere and lining them up like a gallery display. Yeah. Evidence for the trial. Exhibit A, the slippery slope. To have everyone tell me that I have a drinking problem, accusing me. It sucks, doesn't it? Because it's what we all did to you. Why I went to see those other people and stayed away from you? Why did you avoid me when I needed you? Because you needed me. Because you still care. Because I could still do a lot of damage to you, sweetheart, and I don't want to do that. Lucky, Dodge, even Tracy, I've done about as much damage there as I can do, but you still have hope. Don't you want to see me? Of course I do. Lulu, you... You've always needed something from me that I, I just don't know how to deliver. I just needed you to be there. Maybe I couldn't even do that for your mother. Why does this always have to come back to her? Because Laura is a cautionary tale. She's what happens to people I love who depend on me. I am not mom. No, but in many ways, you're very much like her. How? like her because I'm weak, because I'm unstable? No, your mother was never weak, and neither are you. She became fragile. She became unstable because of a life of instability. She's not as fragile as you think. I'm not as fragile either. I didn't say you were fragile. I said that you, you need, you love so deeply. You, you hold on to hope beyond reason and in that way you are like your mother then i'm proud that i'm like her you should be proud but i'm like you too i know that the world is a bitter angry place with people who are just out for themselves and i trust but i don't trust too easily and i love but i don't
Ow! Oh. oh, here, let me see. Come here, let me see that. Oh, baby. Oh. I used to know who I was and I knew where I was going, but I don't feel that anymore. I have a man that is in love with me, so why am I so lost? <laughs> I've missed you. I missed you too, baby girl. You shouldn't stay away from me because you're afraid you're going to hurt me. It's like it or not, you are my dad. Hey, whoever said I don't love being your father. You have a funny way of showing it. I know. You know, I did try hands-on parenting sporadically. Never worked. The roof always came falling in. But I just... With you, I just wanted to make sure I did as little damage as possible because I don't have the answers, Lulu. I'm nobody's hero. But I know you. I've seen everything. All I've ever wanted for you is that you put your life together just the way you want it to be. But there's so many people who want me to be one way or another, and maybe I need your voice to sort them out. My voice is not always kind. That's fine. I'm fine with brutal honesty. I might not always listen. No, you shouldn't always listen. I might get angry and shut you out. Well, of course you will. You're my daughter. But there's one thing you can always count on. I'm all for you being you. I am all for you being you, too. I've waited a long, a long time to hear you say that. <laughs> Actually, one more thing. You're better when you're with Tracy. Tracy's a happily married woman. I don't think she's so happy being Mrs. Anthony Zakara. Well, then why'd she marry the spud? He's blackmailing her. She called marrying him a stall tactic. Yeah, it seems like a hell of a stall. So are you gonna help? I don't recall Tracy asking for my help. Oh, uh, I don't recall you needing an invitation. When did this conversation become about me? Because it's always about you! <laughs> All right, touche. I just want to see you happy. It would make me happy. Yeah. What else would make you happy? I am happy. I've married the man of my dreams. I love Dante. I love our marriage. I think I just... I want something... <laughs> I want something that is totally mine. You know, baby, it takes a lifetime to find out what that is. And then, it changes. Well, then I guess I just want to be okay with the path, and I want to be okay with being a work in progress. You want to be able to have a glass of wine with your husband and not have it a referendum on your life. I want to know who I am and be happy with that. Well, I'll tell you what. If it's a long, bumpy road to get there, fire up the engine. Because I'll take that ride with you. I think things do happen for a reason. Maybe they do. The guy's talking like this again. So I believe it. <laughs>